On the dark road of history, some of the most terrifying stories come out of the early European witch hunts. Mass hysteria, heresy, and panic gave rise to a series of persecutions that led to over 100,000 executions between the years 1450 and 1750. The intensity and horrors that came out of these events produced many important figures, both real and fake, but one of the most unusual is the Jackal of Salzburg, a man whose very idea was conceived through the terror of a 17th century European society. The Jackal exposed the true savagery of humanity, all without ever showing his face. The Salzburg Witch Trials took place in the city of Salzburg, Austria in 1675 to 1690. It was one of the largest and most famous witch hunt trials in Austria and led to the execution of 139 people. This witch trial was a bit more unusual though, as the majority of its victims were male. In 1675, a woman named Barbara Colleran was brought to court and put on trial for theft and sorcery. Barbara was a beggar who demanded alms from a local innkeeper, and when he refused to give her anything, she cursed him and his entire family. Soon after, the innkeeper's son fell ill, and Barbara Colleran was arrested for witchcraft. The authorities of Salzburg tortured this woman, and like most people would, she buckled under the intense pain and confessed to an array of crimes, one of which being that her son, Paul Jacob Collar, had made a pact with Satan. Barbara Colleran was burned alive in August 1675, and a warrant was put out for the arrest of her son, who had become known in Salzburg as the Magician Jackal. In their search, the authorities came across a 12-year-old beggar boy who went by the nickname Dirty Animal, who claimed to have had contact with Magician Jackal just a few weeks earlier. Dirty Animal confessed that Jackal was the leader of gangs of poor beggar children and teenagers from the slums. He also claimed that Jackal taught the children black magic. Once the authorities of Salzburg latched onto this narrative, their goal was to hunt down the Jackal and all of his followers and bring them to justice. This one accusation led to the mass arrest of homeless people in Salzburg, and hysteria gradually spread throughout the entire region like wildfire. Every day that the Jackal was still at large only fueled the flames of panic in Salzburg. Any homeless person they could find was immediately brought in and questioned about their relationship with the mysterious Jackal. Of course, very few of them had any knowledge of him at all, and were tortured until they were able to produce any sort of information. They told the authorities that Jackal could make himself invisible and could control the minds of mice and rats, which destroyed the farmers' harvests. The desperation to be freed from the torture produced many tall tales about the mysterious Jackal, and fear grew in the city with each passing day. He was portrayed as a cruel murderer that the authorities became unsure if they should even attempt to capture him in fear that he was too powerful. After 15 long years, the Salzburg witch trials resulted in the deaths of 139 people who were all charged with being followers of Jackal. Of the 139 that were killed, 113 of them were homeless. Many of the homeless that were questioned confessed to crimes that were beyond their control, such as confessing to conjuring bad weather in years past. Like many of the witch hunts before it, the Salzburg witch trials focused on finding vulnerable individuals to blame for years of struggling in the region. One of the most fascinating aspects of the whole story was that the image of Jackal, which caused such mass hysteria and paranoia, was not an old decrepit crone who lived in the forest like so many stories before. This particular individual was seen as a young, handsome man who looked like any normal individual on the street, and this scared the public. Jackal was never caught, and to this day, people question if he even existed at all. Without a single piece of evidence, 139 people were put to death because of the influence that a man who had never been seen or heard from had on Salzburg, Austria. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time in the Library of the Bazaar.